Greetings and welcome to session seven of our journey through the first letter of John. Uh, let me read for you the verses that we're going to be focusing on tonight. We're in 1 John chapter 2 and we're, I'm going to read to you from verse 12. I am writing to you, little children, because your sins are forgiven for his name's sake. I'm writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have overcome the evil one. I write to you, children, because you know the Father. I write to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you are strong and the word of God abides in you and you have overcome the evil one. Now, you could be forgiven for asking uh, what on earth is going on here. Um, as those verses open up, um, little children is, a, is a, a, a phrase, a name that John often gives to the church, to, to his flock, to his congregation. Um, and so that kind of gives you some context there. But then he does actually address um, fathers. So, so fathers, spiritual fathers, and he addresses um, physical you know, uh, fathers as well, you know. Um, so uh, all, all of that is there, but what on earth is going on? Well, these verses are, are, are written um, in a kind of poetic format, um, or almost it could be a, a poem or a song or something like that, and it's, it's an encouragement. It, it, it's something that, that John has kind of thrown in here amongst all of these big challenges. He, he's wanting his audience to understand, actually, guys, you know, you're doing all right. Don't, don't beat yourself up. You know, you know God, you have a relationship with him. You, you, you have come into that glorious place of being born again, of experiencing new life. And, you know, you should be encouraged at the journey that you've made and the progress that you've made. You know, whilst we're discussing all things, we're not going to avoid these challenges. We're not going to sidestep these challenges, but we should encourage ourselves at the progress we've made. And in this session tonight, I want you to take the time um, to think about that. Maybe, maybe uh, take some time just to be quiet and think about the way that your life has developed, the way that you have grown since meeting Jesus, uh, the great things that God has done for you and how he has dealt with your life. And um, you know the things that you have done as you've engaged with that that have helped you to get closer to God and to his purposes. And then uh, let's take the time to just share some of those things. Let's take the time uh, to speak about and give testimony to the way God has worked in our lives and encourage one another with that. Um, maybe you could also take some time just to bless one another and encourage one another by saying, I see this in you and it always encourages me. I see this strength. I see this attitude. I see this action. Um, I see these things in you that help me and encourage me and draw me closer to God and encourage one another in that. So um, I hope you have a great time doing that tonight. Don't be shy, okay? And uh, you know, be prepared to be perhaps a little bit vulnerable as we encourage one another in the goodness of God and the way that God has dealt with us and the journey that we have made to date towards him. And as always, I will be back later.